to court or not to court, to date or not to date, those are the questions. With the ever-changing times and the continued liberation of all forms of morality, these questions have never been more pertinent. Dating versus courtship. Depending on your age, you may be wondering who even uses the word courtship these days. That could be because all premarital relationships fall under the ever-growing umbrella of the more attractive term of dating. So what is courtship anyway? Courtship is the period before marriage where a couple get to know each other and engage in a romantic relationship. In short, from day one, the process is geared toward marriage. Conversely, dating is a casual romantic affair and there is no commitment involved. Dating partners may not even get into a relationship later on. In other words, dating is what you might know as the prevailing hookup culture. So having said that, which is better for you, dating or courting? Ultimately, it depends on what outcome you want as an individual. However, looking at the pros and cons of the two approaches might help you decide on which side of the debate you fall. Firstly, courting is in the context of commitment, an upfront commitment from both parties, so you know what to expect going into it. Whereas on the other hand, dating, there are no guarantees except that you're getting older and you don't know what lies ahead, usually disappointment. Secondly, there is emotional stability and security in the context of courting, given the pre-existing commitment that has been set up up front. Whereas with dating, there is no security, there is no stability. Things could change at any moment and therefore you're always on edge. Not ideal. Thirdly, expectations. In any relationship, Potential for emotional hurt and pain are much higher, especially if you would at some point like to get a commitment. Without that commitment, you can't have expectations in the relationship. And yet, it is natural to expect something from someone you are in relationship with. Then there is the basis of the relationship. Dating is based on superficial qualities, such as looks, age, apparent social status, etc. Whereas, courting is based on more substantial and meaningful qualities like reliability, integrity, religious affiliation, and so on. The strength of a relationship is based on the strengths of the foundation in which it is built. And the stronger the foundation, the stronger and likely longer lasting the relationship will be. Courting may sound like an outdated concept and dating seems to be the in thing and the easier thing, the more trendy thing. But when you know what you want, when you know that you want a committed, long-lasting, long-term relationship, then courting is your best bet. You have expectations, you have guarantees. And remember, you're not getting any younger and you can only handle so many emotional heartaches and heartbreaks. So make the right decision based on your situation. Now, we've established that the main difference between dating and courting is the level of commitment. And as Neil Strauss once said, without commitment, you cannot have depth in anything, whether it's a relationship, a business, or a hobby. And remember, when confronted with a challenge, the committed heart will search for a solution, whilst the undecided heart searches for an escape. Relationships are not easy. They never have been and never will be. But then again, nothing worthwhile ever is easy. To date or to court, the choice is yours.